welcome to our living room and from the Disney couch. So tonight, we are going to take that journey down the rabbit hole and join Alice in Wonderland. Whoa. So, Alice in Wonderland, who yep. here on the Disney couch has actually seen the whole movie? Well, you know what? I think Alice in Wonderland was one of the first Disney movies I ever watched. I remember going with my parents to like okay, a friend's house. Oh, yeah, we're they were playing down. bridge or something. I don't the kids know. Kids were sent down to watch a movie. Watching Alice in Wonderland on VHS. Okay. Yeah. That I've... might have been the same house where I learned how to play Paul. Uh, I've never seen Alice in Wonderland. I really, yeah, don't quite know what to expect other than it's very strange and bizarre. I have no idea what it's about. I mean, I know all the characters, but I don't even know the plot. Is it like Wizard of Oz? Or? That's probably pretty good. I don't know. I've seen about half of it, I think, on like a school movie night or some sort. I didn't actually get to the point where there's a plot. I just got to like the overly long introducing everything. Mm. So I have no idea where the Queen of Hearts comes in, but she's gonna be in there somewhere. Well, you know what? I'm gonna watch Alice in Wonderland with an open mind. I think you need to, because <laughs> no. it'll do weird things to your mind, I'm pretty sure. Okay, not too open. Let's okay. enjoy. Yep. Here we go. by this point. Yeah, but I still liked it. Towards the end, you're kind of like, uh, get me out of here. I mean, I guess so that's was how Alice. <laughs> that's how yeah. Alice felt. Wake yeah. me up, somebody. I didn't enjoy it, but I kind of feel like maybe I'm not smart or sophisticated enough to enjoy something so weird and random. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, <laughs> no. I, I don't think that's a measure of how smart or sophisticated you are. I made me some art. I drew the Cheshire Cat. Now, this may look a little freakish. Just you wait. <laughs> oh my goodness! I like negative art because it looks weird on paper, but cool digitally. And more people see my art digitally. Follow me, doodles for boredom. <laughs> I have to say, it wouldn't be a movie I would want to see if I was a kid and I had, like, a fever. You know, oh. when you get weird hallucinations when you... No, yeah. it's so watch. scary. So like a weird dream hallucination, crazy nonsense, mm -hmm. and eventually she escapes. And I'm sure people have been trying to find hidden meaning behind all the different characters in Alice in Wonderland, but I don't think I want to do that tonight. No, no I don't think so either. <laughs> but the, the film was quite popular in the late 60s. Uh, of course. <laughs> yes. It, that smoking it was, caterpillar. <laughs> that's right. It was shelved for a long time because it didn't really make that much money in the box office when it was released in 51. But then it was re-released in 68 and all the college kids really dug it, man. <laughs> and, uh, it was a real trip down the rabbit hole, was it? It was the cat's pajamas. <laughs> Whoa. But um, I did like some of the wordplay, like in the poems. And of shoes and chips and ceiling wax and cabbages and kings. I read that that was one of the things that Walt Disney wanted to do was preserve as much of the dialogue from the book oh, okay. from Lewis Carroll as he could because there was a lot of really clever stuff in there. So it's a very strange movie because it was a very strange book. It was just a, a, nonsen a, a nonsense book. I think it was a lot better than Make My Music. Okay, that's a that's our new bottom floor, eh? <laughs> if it's better than make my music, we're good. I did like the um, the scene with the flowers singing. I thought that was really yeah. creative. How the animators gave all the flowers different personalities. Yeah, and like the dandelion was kind of like a lion, mm -hmm. and the tiger lily looked like a tiger. Yeah, but they all sounded like gossiping soccer moms. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that whole Queen of Hearts sequence, like. I don't know, I just kind of found it funny how she get so easily angry. OFF WITH YOUR HEAD! <laughs> the one thing that um, really struck me about Alice was how calm she was. Yeah. You know, when she fell down this bottomless pit of a rabbit hole, she's like, Oh my! Oh! Well, here's a book! And I'll just read the book! 
Oh, it's a caterpillar with the hookah. <laughs> it was a dream. Yeah, I guess so. You're always more calm in your dreams, aren't you? Sometimes. Except right at the end when she's running away from the Queen of Hearts and she's going toward the door and she's running in slow motion yeah. and she looks back and they're all chasing after her. And she's like, yeah. That was total dream sequence. And yeah, right I was there. like, okay, now I'm sure this is a dream. <laughs> Yes, very entertaining. Like, I was really lost in it. So was Alice. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't no. very soul filling. <laughs> yeah, but was it Disney? To the chart! The kiss. No. No, no kisses. No romance. Yep. Alice is only 12. Yep. So it's probably good. Google. <laughs> Do it. No. No. No singing, no. but nothing romantic. Hit song. Pretty much every song I was just like, ooh, I think that's a hit song. Maybe that's a hit song too. I'm late for a very important day. It wasn't really a song, but I don't know. It's just kind of hitty. And hey, did you guys know that I sang I'm late for a very important date in public in a rabbit costume? Oh, you were the white rabbit? I was when what? I was like 10 in elementary school. <laughs> I graduated from the bush in Peter and the Wolf. To the white rabbit in grade five. Yeah, you have a connection. Yeah. So yeah, I think we'll call call it a hit song and yeah. late and late for a very important date. Also, the title song, the Alice in Wonderland theme. Apparently, that became a jazz standard, and so it was rewritten by some jazz pianist, and it became a big thing. And so, um, if you're jazzy, then maybe you've heard it. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Hit yeah. song. Sure. Witchy villain. Well, no. Yeah, the villain was really, I guess, the Queen of Hearts, right? Yeah, She's the main she villain. She wasn't very witchy. She was just a demagogue. Good word. <laughs> the word of the day is demagogue. I would just say she's an ugly villain. Yeah. Yeah. Ugly villain. She gets points for ugly villain. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially when she's going all rage crazy there. Yeah. She gets yeah. The turns all red. Yeah. Death by falling. Well. I think the closest we could come was Bill the Lizard. Yeah, and he fell up and... There goes Bill. When, Poor Bill. When Buckaroo Betsy jumped on the trampoline up into the room, she, we gave that half marks. I think it was actually my only laugh out loud moment of Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. The dodo just goes... There goes Bill. There goes Bill. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that was it. He was out of the rest of the story. Half a point for well, there goes Bill. <laughs> Poor Bill. Poor Bill. Alcohol. Yeah. Again, maybe the animators. <laughs> there was a significant smoking scene. Yeah. And mushrooms. And Alice drank something that made her shrink. Yeah, but yeah. it didn't make her hiccup and fall over. Yeah, the so. Mad Hatters were drinking tea, as far as we know, so... <laughs> Pretty clean movie! <laughs> <laughs> well... Yeah. Missing parents. I don't think so. No. Well, what about Alice's mom? That was her governess. Oh, her was tutor. She wasn't just out for a walk with her mom oh, in the no, park, no, reading no. poetry, and her mom demands that she recite. No, it was her lesson. Yeah, okay. that was that was her governess. Yeah, yeah. for sure. But so we're like presuming that somewhere she had some parents. Yeah. yeah, the parents are just not in the plot. That's right. So no dab with the stash. Right. No. Yeah. Now this would have been close if there was a prince of hearts. Because the King of Hearts had a really awesome stash. Oh, yeah. uh, that's true. It was very cute. Yeah, but nope. Nope. Uh, I, call it. No. I don't think they had children. <laughs> Talking animals. Yep. Maybe. Yep. Talking flowers. Animals crossed with garden implements. <laughs> Talking <laughs> everything. Disappearing animals. Talking doorknobs. Yeah. Talking everything cards. Talked. <laughs> Talking dodo bird. Talking oyster. Yep. Okay, and here's a mystery that we couldn't solve, we're going to put it out to you. In the oyster scene, Walrus is talking to Grandma Oyster. She looks back at her calendar. It says March, and the R in the middle of March yeah. turns red and starts to pulsate. No explanation is yeah. given. She's like, this is a good time for sleeping. Why? I don't understand. Many, many talking animals. <laughs> Even extinct ones. Unlikely partnership. No. Mm -hmm. She had a lot of interesting people she met along the journey, but for the most part, Alice was on her own. Hidden Mickey. Yep! Actually, I think this one was from the Hidden Mickey guy. Thanks, Hidden Mickey guy, whoever you are. Yeah, there is, I think, three that we freeze-framed. Some were a little more obvious than others. I thought the most clever one 
was in the Dodo Birds match. Yeah. He lit a match, and in one frame, the center of the match was Mickey shaped. Wow. Well, so, you know, the animators draw it frame by frame, so yeah. they've got a lot of time to think about, you know, how they can fit a hidden Mickey in there. Yep. Yeah. But it was good to see it wasn't just in a mass of bubbles somewhere. Yeah. Book intro. No. Oh, no. No, no there wasn't. Yeah. It would have made sense in this one because it was yeah. based on a book, but... No book opening. No book opening. Because nope. it was all a dream. So beware if you're opening a book about a dream. That's true. Good yeah. point. Resurrection. Poor Bill. <laughs> no. Poor Bill did not come back. No. Never saw no. anybody come back. No. And Lots of people got their heads cut off. She woke up. <laughs> no, but no resurrection. No resurrection. All right. Yeah. Okay. Total it up, Jira. I'm thinking this one's going to be scoring pretty low. One, two, three, four, and a half. Four and a half. We so were generous. <laughs> uh, we were, yeah. That puts Alice in Wonderland at the bottom of our list, tied with Fantasia. Well, thanks for taking this journey with us down the rabbit hole Whoa. to Wonderland. I hope it was wonderful for you as it was for us. Like the video, share it, subscribe, and check out some of our other links. And comment. That too. So from the Disney couch, thanks for joining us. Bye. Bye. I don't know if I can handle the bonus features. I'm gonna say no before mommy comes up with some preposterous.